Hey, I'm Zoe Lee Baker and I thought I'd let you guys know the tools that I use to help me get stronger over the past two and a half years. So when I first got into powerlifting, I got put on a program called The Juggernaut and it's still the program I use today. You can find it online and it's like a 12 week program. Because before I got into powerlifting, I was just doing the same, exactly the same workout every single day, doing your whole, you know, two or three sets times 12 or aiming to hit 12 in the last set and yeah, never changing it, always doing the same exercises or doing a lot of exercises and only training for like 30 to 45 minutes. So when I changed over to training two to three hours, obviously that's going to make a bigger difference having the bigger break in between sets so you're rested better so you will perform better doing your next set. Um, definitely helped. Uh, I was still doing my fitness model comps. Um, that first year I still did four fitness model comps so I was on and off dieting for that. Um, I also found as soon as I did my last fitness model comp in that first year of training I've finished my last comp in August and from now and till back then I've been in a surplus of calories, not that I count my calories and I haven't since I stopped doing my fitness model comps, but I know that obviously I must have been in a surplus due to the fact that I was gaining about a kilo a month. So when I finished my last fitness model comp I was 63 kilos and now I weigh like 77 or 78 kilos now. It was slow and I think just being in that surplus, obviously giving your body um, more food and more energy to get through your workouts. And I find another thing that has helped me is having friendly competition in the gym. Um, I like this tool. I do it a lot this year now that I train at home. I have my husband and my friend that train. We all train together and we all follow the same program. We're all in the same percentages when we're working together. Our working maxes are all different but our percentages are the same. And usually on our last set, we'll do as many reps as we can. And um, that's just one tool that I use to help motivate me to push me myself a bit harder in my sets or my last set, just to see how many I can do. And I do find it quite helpful because sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm only going to do like A reps. I can't be bothered doing anymore. And then most of the time, my friend goes before me, and she'll get like 13 or 14 reps and so then I just find this inner energy to try and beat her. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. She usually beats me a bit more than I beat her but it doesn't matter. Um, it just yeah, it just gives you that extra drive that you need in the gym sometimes because sometimes you just can't be bothered and I just, if I've seen someone else do the weight that I've, I'm about to do before and they've gotten a certain amount of reps then I might try and strive to attempt to get the same amount of reps to yeah just to motivate me more and to sort of psych me up a bit more for the set and that just to put a bit more energy towards it. I find this little tool always sort of gets me a bit more motivated to get that last set done and then we'll go on to accessory work. And I also find another thing that I do a lot different to what I did before I got into powerlifting is I only do like a couple of exercises like on squat day I just do squats and then I do pull squats and that's what I've been doing this year I did used to do another bunch of squats after that but I haven't really done it this year um, and due to changing my technique with my squats I haven't found that I need to because I'm getting plenty of gains in that area anyway without doing the additional stuff that I used to do for it if I start to plateau, plateau, then obviously I'll add some more in if I need to. Like I keep it really simple, I only do like a couple of exercises. And they might be practically the same, but it works. But back before powerlifting, I would just do so many different exercises with minimal rests. And I always wondered why I just never got stronger doing any of those exercises. It was a slow, just to get that one extra rep was just like pulling teeth. I will be doing another video um, about my transition from being a high bar squatter to a low bar just because I've just had such a, like I've added 20 kilos to my max just like that over the past six months of doing low bar. So I'd really like to discuss my thoughts on how I improved and the difference between the two and yeah, and why I was a high bar squatter for so long. Alright, thanks guys.
Thanks guys for listening and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.